Here's an interesting and I think very, very important test that I'm going to show you. Before I do, I just want to invite you to imagine that any web page where you have any conversion goal, which is pretty much every web page, right? You want people either to stay on the site or to, to do some kind of action. Any page where you have any goal to it at all, imagine that there's a pair of scales in the visitor's mind. On one side of the scales is the negatives, and that might be any negative thoughts or negative expectations that you bring about the page that you're about to see, about the brand, about the offer, whatever it is, okay? And onto this side, any negative things that, that they bring already, you it's going to be your job to try and remove, okay? We want the scales to tip to the positive side. So you want to remove their fears, you want to remove their doubts and their concerns. Now... On the other side is the positive pan, and that's the one you want to load that side up with positives. The bottom line, if you can get the scales to tip to the positive end, then your visitor will take the action that you want them to take. If it tips to the negative end, where they end up having to conclude that they are more likely to get what they want by going somewhere else than by proceeding forward, with your proposition, then the, the page will fail. It's as simple as that. Now what I'm going to show to you today is a very, I think, important test that demonstrates the negatives, I think demonstrates the negatives in action. Let me show you the original page. Okay, so this is from videousermanuals.com and this is the pricing page, the pricing options page. This is the original and I'll just read it through. The headline says, Easy Pricing Plans. Then the subhead is, there are three easy options for you to choose from. Okay, slightly wordy, but it's not too bad. Then you've got fairly small text that says, Only have one client? Grab the single license. Have multiple clients? Grab the developer license. If you're really smart, you'll grab the yearly developer license and get two months free. Okay, now is there anything wrong with that so far? We shall see. And then you've got the text with the three options below, developer license recommended. It's generally good to, to give people an idea of which one you think they should be going for. And then the features here, unlimited sites, blah, 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 use of master profile. Now that's something that stuck in my head thinking, well, what is this master profile thing? If you scroll down, there's some uh, FAQs down here, and then there's an FAQ for what is the master profile, but you really don't want people to be, uh, little question marks to be appearing over people's heads at this point, okay? And we want them to click the Buy Now button. So that's the original. I'll show you my version. Very, very little has actually changed. Okay, so instead of easy pricing plans, it says pricing plans, three easy options, okay? So what I've done is I've got rid of there are three easy options for you to choose from, okay? If you give people options, the words for you to choose from is implicit, okay? And it, in fact, so is the word that the words there are, okay? Basically, all this line is saying is three easy options. So I've moved that up into the heading. We've got room up there, so I can move that and get rid of a line, move everything up slightly. So, so I've got rid of that line. I've made this text bigger, as you can see. Because right? I want people to read it. It's meant to be helpful. If it's helpful, I've recovered some space. I can make that bigger. You'll see that the table's even moved up slightly. There is a slight concern that these buy buttons may be quite a long way down the page. And I've changed it slightly. Okay, here's the original. Okay, text is small. It's all in, in uh, lightweight font. Only have one client, grab the single site license, and I've bolded that. Have multiple clients, grab the developer license. I've bolded that. That's the only change. However... I've changed this third line. Here's the original. If you're really smart, you'll grab the yearly developer license and get two months free. Now, here's my problem with that. My problem with that is it's suggesting that if you go for the single site license or the developer license in particular, you're not smart. Right? It never, ever, ever pays to insult your visitor. Right? Just burn that into your mind. Right? If anything could possibly be taken the wrong way, try removing it. So instead of, if you're really smart, you'll grab the elite developer license, I just changed it to, 
if you want to save dollar 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 grab the yearly developer license and get two months free right very few changes in wording however if you look on the old one where it says use of master profile here I've changed that to plus custom install settings because that's what it actually means right custom install settings it still doesn't tell you exactly what to expect but you'll uh, it's it's a a lot more understandable than use of master profile which is completely meaningless and you see also there where it says priority support I've then put that in capital letters one thing I would also try may actually try as a, as a follow-up test to this is making this text where, where it's uh, highlighting the, the bonuses and the benefits make that something like dark green instead of red the red could suggest problem error right and then lower down the page um, what are custom install settings instead of what is the master profile? Okay, that's it. Some very, very minor, really, text changes to the page. Let's look at the results. The test is not entirely conclusive. I'm getting 93% confidence that my version is going to win, but it's running at, at over 100% improvement. I've got 12 people who visited the revised version of the page have gone on to buy something versus only six people who saw the previous version with the smaller text, the master profile, which may be confusing, and the copy, which could be taken as somewhat insulting. And you can see the, the lines are, well, very, very far apart on this graph, and they, they really are likely to stay in that conversion rate range as we go. So I think very useful test, and always be thinking not only have I told them all the positive reasons, have I given them all the positives, but is there anything on that page that could be a reason just for someone to go, T you know, I don't like this, I don't believe you, and, and clear out. It only takes one thing to break somebody's confidence in you. So always be looking for those little things, and it could just be a few words on a page that could turn somebody off. And again, always test.